some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Washington State once again with the frauditor known as Inland Auditing Media as he, uh, well, decides to become a royal pain in the ass to the uh, employees at the Department of so, so Social and Human Services. And he ends up getting kicked out of the building. And, uh, well, he's going to be filing complaints after this, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh, I'm, I will need some help in a second. I'm just checking the place out. Uh, so this is DSHS. Who are you? I'm familiar with it being DSHS. Okay. I'm just... Why are you here? Well, I've got stuff to do. For whom? Myself. Who are... Okay, but you can't just walk around through here. Sure, is there anything yeah. that you need? Anything that we can help you with? Anything we can support you with? No, just do my business. Okay, but we have stuff in here. I, I mean, I don't understand why you're in here. Yeah, I don't need to explain that to you. Right, but well, okay. what are you what are you trying to record? I'm right. <laughs> what are you <laughs> what trying are to record? Right? What are you what are you looking what? for? I, I'm working on something, man. For whom? Oh, but there is no story, uh, sir. Uh, this lazy asshole just wants to come in here, uh, right, stir up the pot, and uh, look like a big bad man to the people who actually watch his channel. Unfortunately, it makes him look like a complete dill hole to everybody else in the world. And believe me, if you had to sit down here and watch all these videos, you would uh, probably go stark raving mad. So that's why I'm here. I'm the one that takes the hit. I'm the one whose uh, brain will get fried in the end by uh, watching these uh, videos unedited. I just hope my sacrifice won't be in vain. Myself? Okay. But if you don't have any purpose to be here... Oh, I definitely have a purpose. Okay. And what is that purpose? I don't need to say that. You're a public employee, right? I am a public employee. That is correct. Yeah. I'm just trying to understand why you're here. You're going through our our roster of people that are signing in. I'm just curious why you're here. That's all. Yeah, the public records. Okay. So what's wrong? I just don't understand what you're doing in here. <laughs> I mean, this is, we have, we have personal information and stuff in here. Sure. I mean, we got client information in here. This yeah. isn't a place that we, that we allow folks to record in here. I mean, if you have a, a purpose to be here, or if you want to meet with somebody, we welcome you to. I already explained you got a purpose. Okay. You, you haven't, it to you. right. But you also don't need to be in here recording. If you keep saying right, that I'm right. You're not right. I, I understand what you're saying, but please, uh, you know, I, if, if you have a, a need to uh, meet with someone, we would welcome you to schedule an appointment. Appointment? Don't you realize that this guy is a First Amendment auditor and he is here to uh, expose uh, government tyranny and corruption and everything like that? He, what he wants to do is he wants to go back there and film everything to his heart's content. That way he can make sure there's no corruption in this place. Even though uh, I'm sure he might film a few uh, pieces of uh, information that are supposed to remain confidential. But, you know, he's a First Amendment auditor. He doesn't give a shit. If it has nothing to do with him, then it really doesn't matter to him at all. That's just the way they are. A bunch of narcissistic jackasses who uh, want to push their weight around and uh, make everybody their slaves. Not to mention uh, force them to lick their own boots. I mean, that's their personal goal in life. But beyond that, I just need to understand why you're here. I'm not going to explain that. Okay, well then I would like you to please leave. I'm not going to leave. Well, this is not a place for you to be. It is. It is not. Look, I've got some business to do. I'd appreciate it if you get right, out. Of but I don't understand what your purpose of what your business is you here. You don't need to understand. It's not your business. Right. But this is our this is our building, and it's I'm not asking your you. I'm asking you to please leave. Then I'm not going to leave. 
Okay. That can happen. Can someone please the, contact law yeah, enforcement? They're Thank on you. the phone right now. Okay, so we'll wait till they get here then, and then okay. we'll have a conversation with them, and that'll be just fine. What's your name? Keith. What's your Keith. name? Keith. Steve. Steve. Okay. What's your last name? Doesn't matter. So you're going to make me do a public records request to get your name to file a complaint against you? Why would okay? Well, when law enforcement gets here, we'll we'll. we'll I don't file complaints up. with law enforcement about public employees in a public building. Okay, I appreciate that. So then, what's your last name so I can file a complaint? So I am Keith DeVos, and I am the okay. CEO for the Special Commitment Center. So you want to do a public records request on this guy? Uh, what is that going to prove? I mean, the only thing it's really going to show is that this guy is gainfully employed and has an education. Unlike fraudsters who tend to drop out in kindergarten, or is it second grade? Either way, they don't seem to get that far in a school. I mean, that's why they can't ever get a job. This is DSHS's property. Right. And again, we have client information and other things that is back here. With So you are not welcome to walk back here. You are welcome to make an appointment. You are welcome to talk to us and, and, and we can have a conversation. Keith, it seems like you might be on any one given day, a okay, decent, regular guy. Yeah. But you're doing things right now you shouldn't be doing. And I think the reason you're acting a little nervous is because you know you shouldn't be doing what you're doing no, right now. I am I am not nervous. I am perfectly fine. You seem a little shaky, man. Nope. I'm telling you, you shouldn't be doing what you're doing right now. And I think you know you shouldn't be doing that. Okay. Well, again, I'm, I'm asking you to please, <coughs> please leave. You've already walked into the building. There's nothing here for you to record. I'm just... There absolutely is. You have no idea what I'm doing here or the reason of my visit. No, it's I know. Your, I, I've asked none you of your business. I've asked you what your purpose but it's is. It's legitimate. It's legitimate business. Okay. Well, again, if you're here for media purposes or something, we have folks that you can talk to. If you're here to uh, meet with someone, you are welcome to set an appointment okay. to meet with someone. I'm happy Look, Keith, to set that up. I need to finish gathering my content here, so I need you to get out of the way because I. It looks like you're trying to escalate this preemptively. I, wow, the frauditor is telling the man who actually runs this building to get out of his way uh yeah uh you've uh, pretty much crossed the line right there and if this man uh right here would exercise his uh, uh, right to kick you out of this building via trespassing then he absolutely can and there's not a damn thing you can do about it frauditor but whine cry and complain and uh threaten lawsuits and get absolutely nowhere with it, you lame brain turd. I am certainly not. I've got my hand in my pocket. I am certainly not trying okay. to escalate anything. So I'm going to go finish gathering well, the content that I need um, to gather. Again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you to please not okay. walk past me. Please don't. Please don't. don't. do it, Keith. I am not, I'm not doing do anything. Don't do it. I'm, I'm here to get business done that I need. It's publicly available information that I'm seeking. Okay. Okay. I, I appreciate so that. I'm going to just get the content I need. I'm asking you to not to abridge my liberty to walk around and I'm also going to ask you to not make contact with me. I, I want, I'm I certainly want not. this to escalate. I certainly okay. don't want it to escalate either. Can we wait for law enforcement maybe to get here and have a conversation with them and then from that point forward we can go from there. It'll so just take a few this, minutes. You want this to escalate? I certainly you're don't. You're abridging my liberty to go around and you shouldn't be doing that. You've got nothing that says people cannot go into certain places. No, but we do have public public information or, or personal information, client information that's back in here. So, so that's let me give why you a random example. If you took one of those documents and put it right there on that desk, mm -hmm. what you're telling me is you're doing the same thing in a publicly available space back there that you would be in that hypothetical example here. Why would you do that if you're the CEO? Frauditors tend to deal in what if. What if you had one of those confidential documents sitting right over here? Uh, well, the reality of the situation is Frauditor, they don't. The reality of the situation is you are trying to force your way back into a secured area. And that is the reality. And the next reality is uh, you are about to find out that you can and will be booted out of this building. So suck it up, buttercup. But All right. Try to prevent me, as you have. You right. already blocked on camera my access right. into an area I'm allowed to be. Right. Okay, then what are we disagreeing about? Well, I'm going to verify, but also you're not someone I know. You've you entered into our workspace. Me. You're you've got your face covered, and yeah. you're recording things in an, sure. a, in a DSHS workspace. Sure. So I need to verify, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So because I don't I don't know who you are, and I don't know you don't why you need you're to here. know who I am. Okay. You have no right to know who I am. Okay. Well, 
That's not, Again, it's this not is, your this liberty. Is a, this is a workspace. Recording in here, being up front is one thing. Going and entering into our workspaces where staff are not, actively I will working. not enter your workspaces. I will enter a corridor. I will enter a hallway. I will okay. check in at the receptionist desk in what functions as a lobby. I'm not going to go into your workspaces. I've already been clear about that. If you want to walk with me, that's fine. And and, and maybe that'll be the case. It, just, just a few more, I promise you. I will have an answer for you. Just If there's one thing I've learned about frauditors, it's this. If you give them an inch, they will try to take the mile. So when you're dealing with a frauditor, don't even give them that inch. You force them out by, uh, well, telling them that they, they are trespassed. And if they don't believe that... Well, you can uh, show them the law and you can uh, call the police because there's simply no pleasing these frauditors to begin with. You could count on that. A few more minutes and then we'll work through it. I, I am certainly not trying to abridge anyone's liberties. I just need to verify, considering this is a DSHS workspace back here, and I want to make sure that everything is, is fine. And then certainly if, if the attorneys say okay, then I will walk with you happily through there. Well, I'll guess that the lawyers probably said no. A little longer than a few minutes later. Uh, our attorneys are saying that um, there is no right to walk through and record without consent. Um, and I cannot give you consent to record our workspaces. So I can't record here. Is that what your attorney saying? Well, where you are, but that's our work areas back here. Okay, so how this did your attorney delineate between that and this? Uh, because that's where our client information is. That's where our staff are left, working. What if you left client information right there, like the check-in log? Right. Well, there is no client information on the check-in log because we don't have clients that come into here, but we do have a workspace. This seems here. completely arbitrary and capricious. Oh, frauditor, and you must have learned some new words. Congratulations. You're growing up. Now, the problem here is that... Uh, they're sort of redundant because they have the exact same meaning. And another problem, they don't exactly have a place in this particular scenario either, considering that this is not exactly a random thing. This is something that the lawyers knew about. It's not random. I mean, come on now, dude. You're a freaking idiot. So why, why is your attorney giving you arbitrary and capricious advice? There's a receptionist desk. There's a publicly available corridor. The corridor does not have anything in it that has client information in it. Right. But this is not a place where the public comes to It's um, not with those signs. There's right. nothing on the door. There's nothing that right. indicates that. The fact that you're whimsically and your attorney is whimsically making these decrees is just simply abridging my liberty to go and access a publicly available lobby or a building in publicly available spaces. Right. So you are in the publicly available lobby where you are right now. However, Again, back but what, here, what's, these what's are the calculus workspaces. that's leading you to delineate in a articulable, rational manner that time, place, manner restrictions prohibit me from gaining access to that, but not here? Because these are workspaces where yeah, I'm not DSHS gonna, staff are actively working. There is client information that they are I'm working not record on this and stuff. other information. My aim is not to record that stuff. My aim is to record publicly available spaces. Like Well, for auditor, if uh, going by your logic, a government... Uh, office building is a uh, publicly available uh, area, right? Well, uh, I uh, invite you to travel across the country to uh, visit the uh, Pentagon and see if uh, your uh, hypothesis holds any water inside of that building and uh, see if they uh, let you in or if they uh, arrest you for uh, tempted uh, espionage or something like that. That should be fun. I have every reason to believe right now, and this story will go out and indicate this, your attorney, Virginia, is likely very well aware of the fact that this is publicly accessible, but by the information you provided to that attorney, your counsel for DSHS doesn't want DSHS having a bigger problem. She's just basically making a decision between two civil issues right now. One, the issue of I could capture information back there or the information of abridging my liberty to go back and access places that Virginia knows I can access. She's she's betting on which lawsuit, which problem is gonna be weightier. She's going with, let's mess with the journalist and roll the dice, right? And see where this goes, black or red, rather than go with just automatic fail of me gathering content 
that shows you are not doing what you need to be doing to protect that information. You have literally admitted this on camera at this point. That has to be the worst uh, put together, uh, well, string of sentences that I have ever heard. I mean, it comes right down to this, uh, you giblet head. That attorney is not weighing the issues as far as lawsuits go. The uh, mere fact that this is an area where there is confidential information is good enough reason to keep your sorry ass out. And the very fact you're threatening a lawsuit at this point is completely meaningless because, well, I'm sure, uh, well, it'll be laughed right out of court. You've admitted that in those cubicles, somebody could walk by if they had an eidetic memory, they could look over, see the information, capture it with their own memory, and now done. Why are those doors not closed? Why are those doors not marked with signage that says this is a publicly unavailable space? There's signs that say authorized personnel only, restricted access. You could put a badge reader on there that locks it, that you swipe, but you haven't done this. And the other information I have from a source has led me to believe that not only this is correct, but other information subsequent to that relating to information already released, already attained by some people, is already out there. I think you've stepped in a pile I don't think you want to step into, Keith, and unfortunately your attorney has given you really poor advice, because how's this gonna look when it gets out to the people of Pierce County and Western Washington State? We good? Okay. All right. All right. Oh, the frauditor is getting very butthurt. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I think it's time to, uh, well, give this frauditor uh, something special, something that uh, may cure the pain in his ass. Yeah, I'll give you some of BHK's butthurt cream, guaranteed to cure any pain in your ass or your money back. Uh, satisfaction is not exactly guaranteed because other frauditors have made the complaint that uh, it, it made their uh, pains much worse and gave them hemorrhoids the size of basketballs. But then again, it was made by a bunch of damn dirty elves. I mean, at least those elves are on our side. At least they create this stuff to, uh, well, stick it to the frauditors. And you could go ahead and keep that tube. I mean, it's a free sample anyway. Uh, because you know what? You're going to experience this more and more as you go along. And, uh, well, I'm sure it might not give you a uh, basketball-sized hemorrhoid. But you know what? You never know. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?